If you have been diagnosed with LCIS, Hello? the most important thing to know is this. You do not have breast cancer. You probably learned that you have LCIS from the results of a breast biopsy. The L in LCIS stands for lobular. The lobules are the parts of the breast responsible for making milk and sit at the tips of the milk ducts like buds on a tree branch. The C stands for carcinoma, which technically means cancer, but don't let that scare you. And the IS is short for in situ, which means inside. In the case of LCIS, the lobules are filled with small round cells which aren't supposed to be there. These abnormal cells do have the potential to become cancer in the future. When you're diagnosed with LCIS, it means you have a higher risk than average of developing breast cancer in the future. But the majority of women with LCIS never develop breast cancer. In fact, LCIS is not very common. This year, about 61,000 women will be diagnosed with an in situ or non-invasive breast cancer. Fewer than 8,000 of those women will have LCIS. Most types of LCIS are markers of an increased risk of cancer and can be managed through ongoing monitoring, chemo prevention using hormone blockers or preventive surgery. There is a type of LCIS called pleomorphic, which means varying shapes. This type is more like a precancer, so it's usually treated with surgery. Your treatment is a personal choice, and you should discuss it with your medical team. You'll need to decide if you want to take hormone therapy, which can reduce your risk. Tamoxifen and raloxifene are the two drugs currently used. Both are daily pills taken for five years. Raloxifene is an option only if you have gone through menopause. Since both drugs have side effects, you need to discuss the risks and benefits with your physician. Sometimes the risks outweigh the benefits you might receive. Taking tamoxifen or raloxifene can cut your risk of getting breast cancer in half. Out of a group of 100 women with LCIS, two would be expected to get breast cancer each year. But if all 100 of them took either drug, then only one woman would be expected to get breast cancer. Most women with LCIS will never be diagnosed with breast cancer. So if you do not have a family history of breast cancer or an inherited mutation, you may want to try close follow-up. Going forward, you'll be followed by your doctor at a high-risk clinic with regular exams and imaging. One thing to always keep in mind is this. Learning you have LCIS is not an emergency. You have plenty of time to find out more and figure out which treatment is right for you. Inpatient Science is a video series for you, your family, and friends to better understand breast cancer and the choices that you have to make. If you want to find out more information or to support the foundation, go to drsusanloveresearch.org and help us end breast cancer once and for all.